So college student athletes, right now they don't get paid. No. And uh, you're saying they should. Should college athletes get paid? I, I do think that college athletes should get paid. I think there's something fundamentally unjust about the, the national, the NCAA is a, a private organization. And I think it's unjust the way that they've um, decided how people get paid with the money that they take in, right? And so I think student athletes should be paid. Everybody else is paid. The NCAA claims that like it would corrupt sports to pay the athletes. Really? Right? But we pay coaches. The coach... Millions the of dollars. Millions of dollars. <clears throat> the highest paid public employee in almost every state in the United States is of the America college football coach. Yeah. is the college football coach, and in some cases, it's the college basketball coach. Yep. More that, than the governor. More than the governor. Yep. Now, why are they paid so much? Right? Why, why is there such a huge... People talk about compensation for CEOs, and they say, oh, CEOs get paid 105 times as much as like the average worker. Well, in a way, your like, college quarterback gets... Uh, the, your college coach gets paid an infinite amount more than like the college quarterback who doesn't get paid. Well, we should say, by the way, that in a way they do get paid because they're, they're, they're covered by scholarships. So they do get a scholarship, so they do get some amount of that money. But the amount that they get is so much smaller than what many colleges would have to pay. Not all of them, right? In many cases, they subsidize the college athletics program, right? They don't bring in a huge sum of money. But like the University of Alabama brings in huge sums of money from their football program. Enormous. And their coach gets paid $5.6 million, I think it is, maybe even $6 million a year for being a coach. And in fact, like everybody gets paid except for the athletes. That just strikes me as bizarre. 